So, so many Ravens fans this offseason were thinking, oh man, when are the Ravens going to cut Alejandro Villanueva? There's no way that the Ravens keep him around. There's no way that he's on this team for another season. But Alejandro said, wait. No, 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 no. You, you think y'all are just going to get rid of me? Like, what? No. And he said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and retire. So, the Ravens, they have placed him on... Uh, the reserve retired list. Oh, he's only 33. I thought I don't know why I thought he was a little bit older than that. Um, but he is officially calling it quits. And that is a wrap for Alejandro with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, it was a uh, it was a season that it just fell apart. It, it, it fell apart. Um, it was not all on Alejandro Villanueva, but it just. It, it was a rough season for him, but just for it was for a lot of Ravens too. Um, physically, mentally, uh, it was just wow. Uh, but injuries. He was originally supposed to be the Ravens' right tackle, but of course, Ronnie Stanley he got hurt. Well, he never really was fully healthy. Um, and then Alejandro had to switch back to the left side. Uh, and then it, it was it was crazy because the first game against the Raiders was rough. Oh, it, it was rough. It was rough. It was rough. But then. After that, it was like, oh, okay, Alejandro. Because in that Chiefs game, Alejandro was lights out. And we were all thinking, well, it's at least me. I can only speak for myself. But I was thinking, oh, man, all right, Alejandro, okay. You done made up for last week and then some because you are playing lights out in this game. We ain't hear, hear a peep from no Chris Jones, no Frank Clark, nothing from the Chiefs. And it was like, all right, let's go. But then after that, it just... Uh, it was a lot of downhill from there. Um, and I really thought I had higher hopes for Alejandro. Reason being because he had came, he was coming from the Pittsburgh Steelers and they were his past happy team. Um, and he was going to be coming to a run happy team, a run heavy team. And I was like, okay, that's an offensive lineman's dream. They would love that. They, they of course, want to always make that switch over. Well, why wouldn't they? But it ended up being to where... Yeah, yeah, it just, it, it didn't go good. It didn't go good. And um, then the Ravens, they had to pass a lot more. They were forced to pass a lot more because the running game, were all the running backs, they were all gone. The offensive line was shot, and it just, they had to get pass happy. So that put him in a uh, tough predicament. But shout out to him, though. Shout out to him. Um, he, he played, he, one of the things about Alejandro Villanueva uh, that you cannot say about a lot of Ravens this year was that he stayed healthy. He stayed healthy. He was there for, I think, did he play all 17 games? I feel like he may have missed maybe like one, maybe, but he was out there for the majority of the season. So as those employers like to say, we wish you well in your future endeavors. Um, and now he's, he's not playing in the league anymore. And look at that. The Ravens ain't even had to have a tough conversation with him because he said, no, you're not firing me. I quit. And I'm out. 